In this video, I'm going to show you how I use this, the Nembrini noise gate to reduce background noise, hiss, and other horrible mouth noises in my vocal takes here in GarageBand. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, unwanted background noise, hiss, hum, mouth sounds, these are all things you don't want in your final tracks. And using something like a noise gate is a good way to actually turn off and then back on and therefore you're only hearing the audio when you want to hear it. It's great for things like when you've got that guitar hum before you start your guitar solo, it'll turn it off. But the noise gate here in GarageBand only has one slider here, which means it can only be on or off. So what if we want to just turn down the volume to reduce that noise, but keep things more natural? Well, that's where the Nembrini noise gate comes in. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it on a vocal right here in GarageBand. Now, the great thing about the Nembrini plugin is that it is 100% free. And as I mentioned, it does have both a threshold and a range dial, meaning it gives us a lot more control. We can also control the input and the output volume of the plugin to turn it off and back on to see exactly what it's doing. So I'll show you that in just a moment, but keep in mind, this is only going to reduce the noise when no sound is playing. When the sound is playing and the gate is open, you're going to get exactly what you've recorded. If you want to find a way to reduce the noise when your sound is playing, I recommend the Bruce Free plugin from Clev Grand. There's a video about that up the top and down in the description. So I've turned off the noise gate as well as the Nembrini noise gate here so that you can hear what this track sounds like. I've also turned it up and removed reverb and delay just so we can hear exactly what we're dealing with. So let's hit play on this one and you'll hear the background noise before I start singing. It sounds like this. What can you hear there? You can hear shuffling, you can hear background hiss, you can hear mouth noises, you can hear bits and pieces of scraping. I didn't do a great job keeping quiet here, so we're going to need a noise gate. When we come down to where I'm actually singing though, let's take a listen. Even the sun doesn't feel so bright today, when will it end? So it's actually not sounding too bad. You can still hear a bit of that noise. I may use something like the Bruce Free to clean this up as well. But the main thing is that we don't want that noise in between the phrases. We don't need it in there. So what we're going to do is use the Nembrini noise gate on here. But first, let's show you what the regular noise gate would do so you can see the difference between the two. So to use a plugin here in GarageBand, we tap on the mixer icon here, we tap plugins and EQ, and let's turn on the noise gate and then drop down this slider. And now we can set the threshold. Now with the threshold at minus 100, it's not going to be do doing anything. If we hit play on this, we're still hearing all of that sound. What we need to do is drive up the threshold until it hits the point where the actual noise we want to hear is actually present and therefore it'll, the noise gate will be on when it's just the background noise and then turned off to allow our vocal through when it's actually hearing. So let's come to this section here and we'll dial this up and we'll see if we can get this right. Things aren't the same everything's changed even this so can you hear there that it's actually cutting out the noise in between phrases now the difference there is if we turn the noise gate off you'll hear that background noise in between phrases let's take a listen things aren't the same everything's changed even the so what you're hearing there is you're hearing the breathing sound, you're hearing the background noise in between there. And if we come to the start here, there's that background noise. Turn the noise gate back on, it's gone. So it is kind of a very cool magic trick that you can do here that will reduce down that sound. But as you heard there, it sounds a bit unnatural because it's either on or off. What we want to do is just turn down the volume a little bit. So let's jump over to the Nembrini plugin and show you how that works. So to add this plugin in, once again, we tap on our mixer icon, we tap plugins and EQ, and now we tap on edit, and we hit one of these plus buttons here. We come to audio unit extensions, and once you've downloaded, which there'll be a link down in the description, you'll be able to come down here to the Nembrini plugins, we'll grab the noise gate, and we'll throw that noise gate plugin on here to access it. All we need to do is tap on there, 
and there is our interface ready to go. But one more thing I recommend, a noise gate should always be the first plugin because it's going through the gate before it does any other processing. So the last thing we'll do is tap on edit and then grab this noise gate and bring it up to the top. Now what it's gonna do there, You'll notice it can't go higher than the regular noise gate, but that's okay because we're going to not use this one. We're going to turn off the regular noise gate. So this will be the first plugin in our chain. Let's now jump in and learn how to use the Nembrini noise gate. So I've zoomed in on this vocal. You can see here is where it's just the background noise. And then here's the vocal. It's a very quiet vocal, which means noise is going to be an even more important factor to make sure we can remove around it. So here we go. We've got the noise gate on. We tap on the big end there and we're ready to go. Now, the key difference that you'll notice straight away is as well as a threshold dial here, and it's a dial as opposed to a slider, but it does the same thing. This one goes from minus 120 dB all the way around to zero, and that is gonna dial in when the noise gate is going on or off. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. The range is then how much we're actually going to turn it down. So starting here, that's not gonna turn down anything. Even when it's kicking in with a range of zero, it won't be turning it down. As we bring that range up, it's gonna turn it down. And depending how loud your original source is, will be how much you need to turn the range up. And you can play around with that to your heart's content and get it sounding just the way you want it. That's enough talk about the theory. Let's jump in and show you this in practice. Now I'm going to start with the range at 100 and the threshold at minus 120. And what we're going to do is listen to the background noise, dial up the threshold until the point where it's actually turning off that background noise. That'll give us an idea of our threshold. We can then work out how much we want to turn it down that's going to remove the noise, but still sound natural. So let's hit play on this now and I'll dial up this threshold and find the right point. Things aren't the same Everything's changed Even the sun doesn't feel So bright today When will it end? When can we leave? Right now I'd say so what you can hear there and see there is that when we're at around about that minus 80, it's cutting out the background noise, but it's letting in some of those breath sounds. As we bring it further around to about minus 60, it's also removing some of the quieter breath sounds. So we'll need to balance this somewhere in that zone as we bring our range down so that it's going to start cutting out the right spot, but also the right amount of our sound. So now that we've got that, let's leave it at say minus 70. What I'm going to do is bring the range down and then we can come back to the start here, play this background noise again, and then we'll dial up the range and just see what it's going to start sounding like as we start reducing as opposed to completely cutting that sound. Things aren't the same Everything's changed Even the sun doesn't feel So bright today so hopefully you heard and you saw there that as the range came around, it just gently starts turning it down. And as we got too far around, it actually was too high and then it was turning it completely off. Now, I'm hearing a bit of cutting out of the sound there, which tells me my threshold is up too far. This probably needs to come back down here around about that minus 80. So let's try this again at minus 80, bring the range back to zero and we'll dial this up and then we'll try this one again. Roundabout there seems to be picking the noise but turning it down. Let's hear the Things vocal. Things aren't the same. Everything's changed. Even the sun doesn't feel so bright today. When will it end? So that's not too bad. And if we bring that back in now with our actual sound, our piano sound as well, let's just take a listen to this back in the mix. When can we leave? Right now I'd settle for a small reprieve. It's 
So not too bad. It's probably still the threshold needs to come just a little further down and our range needs to come down. Again, you want to focus, you want to remove the noise, but you probably want to focus more on it sounding natural because there's nothing worse than that gate cutting in and out to make it sound really, really bad. So now that we've got that set, let's just take another listen to what this sounds like because the good thing about this is we can use this button down here to turn it off and then back on. So what we'll do, we'll start with the noise gate, whoop, like that, we'll start with the noise gate off off, and then we'll play and we'll turn it on and you'll hear the difference. So here it is with the noise gate off and then back on. You can still hear a little bit but not much. Things aren't the same. Off. Everything's changed. Even the sun doesn't feel so bright today when we're so it's just reducing down that sound. And again, it's only between the phrases because it's still on and off, but because we can actually dial in the range, it's not completely turning it down to zero when the gate kicks in. It's just reducing the volume by however much we've told the range to reduce the volume. So it's a very handy way to get yourself a little bit of a subtle change. Before we finish up here, let me just show you the Bruce Free plugin really quickly. Now, this is a paid plugin. And again, there's a complete video on this one linked in the description. But just so you can see the difference, what this will do is it will actually remove the noise, both in the section here with no vocal, as well as try to EQ out and remove the noise while the vocal is actually happening. So once again, we're going to tap on edit here. We're going to hit the plus button. We're going to come up here and this time we want to tap on Bruce Free. Now the way Bruce Free works is we come in here to the plugin. We've got this listen function. We're just going to hit play. We're going to listen to the background noise. And then what Bruce Free will do is remove that from the entire track, even when there is audio playing. So let me show you that now. We'll hit play. Hold down the listen button. Release. And it's gone. How cool is that? Now, yes, the Bruce Free plugin does cost you a few dollars, but if you are really serious about your noise reduction, that may be something to consider because let's have a listen again to the Bruce Free here, to this track without the Bruce Free plugin. It sounds like this. And if we turn the Bruce Free plugin on, we get this. And again, you're still hearing a little bit of that noise. It's not removing everything because it's not magic, but it can do some pretty magical things to your mix. And then when you're actually playing the vocal, it's going to be removing some of that noise. So let's play that now. Things aren't the same. Everything's changed. Turn it back off. Even the sun doesn't feel so bright today. Back on. When will it end? And you can, of course, use both of these. So you could use the noise gate in front and then have Bruce Free coming in here if we just change the order of that. Or you could even put the Bruce Free noise reduction in and then the noise gate won't have as much noise to remove. So you can use a combination of these two if you want to. But again, if you want a completely free option, play around with the Nembrini noise gate to start with. It's going to give you some pretty good bang for your buck because it's free. And then you can come in and try something like Bruce Free if you really want some noise reduction. There you go. I hope that helps you reduce some of those unwanted noises. Remember, you can use this with guitars, with pianos, with any other sound. Vocals and spoken words seem to be the ones that I get asked about the most. So that's what I did this one on. There's two more videos linked down below if you want to check out more information. You can also head over to studiolivetoday.com for even more information there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.